the truth is, owls were not always wise. Once upon a time, a long time ago, the everything maker was very busy making all the animals and all the plants and all the rocks and everything else that covered the earth. Owl waited for his turn. He had been given a voice. Two eyes, a head, a body, and strong wings. I want a long neck like swan. I will tell the everything maker. I want red feathers like cardinal and a beak like hawk. Yes, yes, mumbled the everything maker. Whatever you want, but you must wait for your turn. Your eyes are open again. You know that no one is allowed to watch me work. Now turn around and close your eyes. I have no time for you now. I am busy creating rabbit. The everything maker turns his attention back to rabbit, who is shaking with nervous. And what do you want, little rabbit? The everything maker asks. Long ears and legs. Rabbit spoke softly and fangs. Could I have a fang or two and claws? I would dearly love to have claws. The everything maker smiled. I think we could manage some claws and fangs. He smoothed Rabbit's long legs and ears. Silly rabbit, owl hooted loudly. Why don't you ask for something useful like wisdom? This is your last warning, owl, from the everything maker. Be quiet and wait for your turn. Owl glared at the everything maker. You have to do it, he hooted. You have to give us what we ask. I demand wisdom. I warned you, Owl, shouted the everything maker. He shoved Owl's head down into his body, which made Owl's neck disappear. He gave Owl a shake, which made Owl's eyes widen in fright. He pulled Owl's ears until they stuck out of his head. The everything maker snapped. I've made your ears big, the better to listen, and your eyes big, the better to see. I've made your neck short, the better to hold up your head. I've packed your head with wisdom, now use your wisdom and fly away before you lose what I've given. Owl was no longer a fool. He flew away, counting and hooting. The everything maker turned back to Rabbit, smiling gently. Claude, he reminded himself. But Rabbit was gone. Rabbit had hopped early away, too afraid of the everything maker to stick for his fangs and claws. If Owl knew, if he angered the everything maker again, he would lose all that he gained. Even today, Owl only comes out at night when the everything maker is fast asleep. As for Rabbit, his claws and fangs are waiting. Perhaps someday, 